need to go find my husband. I don't want to wake him up. I just want to get my husband. Hey Vernon, do you remember Wonderland at all? No, not really. Follow me. I'll take you back. Doc, where are you going? Wait, this was the same room as last time. Why'd you take me here again, dog? There's a table with the bottle. The table? Again? This key never opens the door, dog. Perhaps you want me to drink this Vernon and drink this again. You need to drink the bottle to get to the small door, remember? Yeah, dog, I remember. I've done this before. That door should take you to the garden. I remember. Hey, cat, where do I need to go from here? You need to see the Mad Hatter. I think the dog would take you. Goodbye. Mad Adder? Vernon, you, you're back. Didn't I say he was going to return? But you guys didn't believe me, did you? <laughs> the treacherous cat sat me. Um, do you have something to tell me? Oh yes, I just want to let you know that Dog's wife is here and she's looking for her husband. The real world was me. Your hair still hasn't been cut. Well, what do you do? Well, um, I guess you don't really have an answer for me. Go ask the lady. She knows everything. We don't know nothing. I'm... It's the lady again. What? Ask her. She knows all the questions. Remember? Dog stares. Who are you? Vernon. I already know that. Why do you keep popping up in Wonderland? And why are you always asking me questions that I don't really have the answer answering? I'm the same way. But I'm not following the dog this time. Of course you're not. Well... I don't know. I must be going. If you excuse me. That door would take you to the garden. What are you waiting for? Nothing, I guess. You should ask the Tweedles. Yes, Tweedles, it's me, I returned. Vernon Butterfield, oh my goodness. We didn't think you were going to return since the day you went back home. Well, you haven't changed a bit, but this time you don't have your braid on you. I had one, but I fell down and it, and it got all messed up, so sorry about that. No apologies necessary. Um, where's Dog? Don't you give the Tweedles an attitude, you are going to get it. Vernon, no like time no see. How have you been? I'm just the same old Vernon since the last time I came here. That's good to hear. Well, I'm pretty sure you and Doc have better things to do. Quacks would tell you more about the Queen. 
I just wanted to say hi. That's it. Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. Dog? Oh. Dog has a wife. She was a beautiful girl. She used to date dog every day, but since the queen took over, she was trapped in that dungeon for millions of years. Yep, that's right. Mm -mm. Thank you, Quacks. Vernon, don't start. You are the only one that can defeat the Queen of Hearts. Yes, I can, but I choose not to because what kind of a leader gives up a somebody that, that the moment that things get hard? In my house, I got something special for you. Not this again, dog. Well, looks like you're busted. My old friend, why don't you come get him out of here? No, no, not this again. I am not about to get me kicked me out. I'll do the honors. You didn't have to throw yourself like that, you silly goose. Vernon, there you are. Doc, you're back. Do you know that you have a wife? I did, but that was a very long time ago. Who's asking? Everybody knows that you have a wife. Why didn't you tell me this before, when I came here for the very first time? Well, at the time, I was working for the Queen, and you were just popped up a Wonderland, and I didn't know who you were, so I didn't want to scare you, so that's why I kept it like a secret for many, many years. Doc, you don't be afraid to tell me anything if you have a wife. I can help you on that. Why would she run away from Wonderland and never return? I do not know, Vernon. I really honestly hope she's okay. It was a big mistake. I should have stayed in Wonderland. I should have never followed after you. What do you have to say for yourself? You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. I was locked in that dungeon for all my life. Where were you for the last five years? I was with him. I returned back with him because I didn't want to go back to Wonderland because I was afraid of the Queen. The Queen? You're afraid of the Queen? Oh, thank you very much. I was stuck in the dungeon because for many years. Oh, whatever. You know what? I am leaving. If you don't want to help me kill the Queen, then I will. Sweetie, please don't get upset. Don't kill the Queen. She's evil. Me and Vernon don't already see what the Queen can do. Guys, I would love to listen to you guys argue, but Doc has a point. We're not doing any good just standing here and arguing about this. You stay out of this, sir, or else I come box your ears. Okay, sorry, this is my friend Vernon. He came to Wonderland with me many years ago. I see. So now you're making excuses for him. Anyway, I forgive you. <sighs> Fine. What do we suggest we should do now, since we're just standing here not doing anything? She's right. What should we do? I don't even know anymore. Okay, I don't know either. I'm leaving. I don't need to be a part of this conversation, you know. That's how it always ends up. Somebody always fights about something, you know. Go see the deck of cards. It's you again, you returned. I didn't think you were going to come back. Last time you ignored us. You had nothing to do with us. Everybody knows that Wonderland always has a secret way of bringing you back. You're right. You know, I didn't think I was returning. I was chasing after you and that was a very long time ago, remember? I'm shocked you're not seeing the Queen again. She almost had you killed, remember, because you upset of her. What do you have to say for yourself? You know what, Doc? I don't need to take advice from you, okay? I never wanted to go back to Wonderland, and you brought me back anyway. What the heck is wrong with you? You just don't get it, do you? You just think that you can walk away at any place, anywhere, anytime, and just give me attitude. Well, 
You're not the team that I thought you once were. I think it's time for us to head back home. What do you think? We can go back home? Yeah, it's time. Follow me. Down. She owes me what she did to me in the dungeon many, many years ago. I'm back with an army. Like he said. Alright. Listen. This is too late. This is gonna go. You let us free or else we beat your wife up. I told you not to return. Honey, alright then. Then let go to cooperate. Then have the guards execute him. Guys, maybe we shouldn't do this. Go ahead, do your worst. Yes, just like he said. No, we're having a trial. Call the first witness. Your Majesty, it's me. I'm sorry that I couldn't come earlier, but please leave Vernon alone. He had nothing to do with this. I see. So you're defending him. Got anything else to say? No, Your Majesty, I don't have anything else to say. I'll go have tea before you chop my head off. Oh no, not the skin. All right, call the next witness, please. Your Majesty, good morning. Please, he had nothing to do with this. The Mad Hatter has a point. Let him go. I'm not asking for your opinion at all. If you're going to have arguments, then we shall have no trial. Now, why are you defending him? Your Majesty, I better get going. I shouldn't be any part of this. The other witness, please. I'm losing very much patience. Your Majesty, please let Vernon go. He was being honest the whole time. Please don't kill him. He had nothing to do with this at all. All right. All right, all of you people in Wonderland stop coming to my court. None of this makes any sense. Does anybody else have another rude comment to say before I have her head chops off? Doug, what do we do? What if we just go home? Vernon does not know much we can do. He wins. I give up. No, I am not giving up. I came all this way not to come to a dead end. You listen to me. Stay in that chair and do not say anything that you don't want to be saying. What's there to say? You know, dog, you're starting to get on my nerves. You've been controlling this trip ever since you started coming back. Why don't you trust us once in a while? What's the big deal if I say nothing or not? You didn't do anything before. Now you're being a bossy person. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. You have something to say. Don't say it. Because I almost got my head chopped up by the queen last time. And I don't want this to happen again. Whatever you say, dog. You're the boss. I'm just going to sit here and let the court pass. And let me know if there's anything I can help with. <sighs> it's enough yelling in my court, dog. I had enough. Don't you start this up again. I had to kick you guys out of my court last time for this. You listen to me. I... I'm going to make sure that you don't wear that crown. And how dare you disobey me like that. And you don't speak to me like that. Listen, whatever Doc told you is not true. Get out of the court. You don't deserve to talk. I told you not to say anything rude, but you don't listen. Get out. I'm very sorry, Your Majesty, that Vernon ruined the whole court. I can make it up to you. What, was there anything I can help with? No, 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 I don't need your help. And as for you, 
I don't want to see any more court and I do not want to see that guy again. If there's any questions, my wife would have his head chopped off. You two leave and I don't want to see this again. I'm home. I told you I'm taking you home. What took you so long? You did something when I was looking. What was it? You know, let's just say that let's not bring it up. Oh, I see. Well, you don't gotta tell me, but we're all adults. We don't gotta hide anything. Stay right here. Don't walk off. I know what you're thinking. Looks like my wife is stuck in Waterland forever. Doc, there's nothing much we could have done. And I don't even know. You know, maybe she wanted to be in Waterland. It was my fault. But the main theme is... We returned home. No! Honey! <sighs> oh. Hey honey, I'm back. You know? Wow. That was weird. Like I popped out. Honey, I know. Well, we're all back. Thank you for saving my wife. Really. No. I gotta go.